Kyle here, and in case you missed it, Monster Hunter Wilds open beta, and I am an absolute simp for Monster Hunter, the entire franchise, I started playing back in Dose, and just wanted to give, you know, a quick handful of pros and cons that I've seen so far about the newest iteration. So, first and foremost, some PC problems have been happening, and some people were uh, actually calling it Polygon Hunter for a little while, but I mean, it, we've had a big kind of a, a litany of PC port problems as of late, it seems. But I, I honestly don't think that's going to be the state that it releases in for us. Like, I just don't see that happening with their history of, honestly, banger Monster Hunter games. Like, this is what looks like the absolute worst case. And maybe it is because I am, again, a confirmed Monster Hunter sim, Great Sword Life. But I don't think that we're going to end up with Polygon Hunter on PC. I typically always play on PlayStation, just because it's where I started with Monster Hunter, and it's just what I've gone with. But to each their own. Into the more core aspects of Monster Hunter, the combat has never been more fluid. There's zero hiccups in anything except the Insect Glaive. They honestly grounded the helicopter bros, so a lot of their aerial ballerina dancing is kinda gone. Think more Wukong and less spinning fairy in the air. Like, you just don't have it anymore. And I'm sorry for that. I know a lot of people in my comment section on TikTok were really mad about that. But with you on a more grounded and aggressive playstyle, as long as they give it a decent damage buff and some more element to stack onto it, I don't think it'll be that bad. Hopefully. <laughs> the rest of the weapons honestly just felt so much more impactful and better. The hammer got a massive spin to win upgrade. The greatsword now has a four counter that it can pull out out of nowhere whenever it feels like. And even the switch axe just feels more aggressive. Everything just feels faster paced. And one of the more beautiful things that I appreciate is the endemic life looks alive. It feels alive. If you sit back with your binoculars and just watch things, the Vigor Wolves flow around and refill themselves. All of the herbivores roaming around actually sit there, eat, and interact with each other. Which is just crazy. I know it's a lot of what they were working on in Wild or in World to kind of get right and to have just this living ecosystem, but this time I think they really have it nailed down. The only other big pro or sorry, con I could think of would probably be monster variety. I'm a little afraid that with how ambitious they are going into everything that they might have to limit back the amount of monsters we actually have to hunt. Otherwise, with how big these areas are, and if the beta was anything to go off of, they're gonna be massive and constantly living, and there's no load times in between these huge living areas. So they have to draw back and draw cut away from other areas of the game to make that happen. And if they don't, then Honestly, I'm pretty sure Wild is going to be an absolute certified banger. Like, again, as an absolute fanboy of the franchise, I'm obviously going to be a little biased, but the fact that this beta looks and performs better, at least on PS5, than almost anything that's come out this year so far. You had four monsters to hunt in one area, but the gameplay to it was so solid and the loop of it was so tight, even without being able to craft anything, that it honestly just felt more fun and enjoyable. And I spent 30 hours in it, hunting everything with every weapon just on repeat, just over and over again, and had a fucking great time doing it. Like, I couldn't be happier doing just that. Four monsters, for hours. If this is any sign, go ahead and just keep an eye out on Monster Hunter Wilds. Personally, it falls under a hard pre-order for me. Which again, I'm always confident in pre-ordering a Monster Hunter game, because. They honestly don't miss. Excluding Rise, it had some issues. We have the good, nice type weapon system, beautiful world, and we have the cons of, if it releases like that in the PC, it's gonna be messy. So just keep your ear to the ground for that one. It's kind of got me worried for it. And I'm sorry, Insect Glaive Bros, you kind of got scalped this time around. And unfortunately, the Long Sword got even better, cause you know, it needed it. <laughs> anyway, have fun, stay safe.